Well, we live in a time where active shooters attack schools, movie theaters, shopping malls, concerts, and festivals. The Fresno County Sheriff's Department making sure Christmas Tree Lane does not make that list. Dozens of deputies patrolling Van Ness Avenue tonight as thousands hit the street for the Christmas Tree Lane's final walk only night. Our AJ Cotto is there live. And AJ, with all the lights, noise, it has to be very challenging for law enforcement. Alex, on it is. And the goal is, of course, for everyone to have a very fun and safe night. But as you said, there are so many people out here. So there are also about 100 deputies on scene out here to make sure everybody stays safe. Christmas Tree Lane delivering an endless stream of lights. And on walk only nights, it may seem like just as many people. We could have tens of thousands of pedestrians, and really our number one goal is to make sure that all of those pedestrians enjoy the evening. Which is why the sheriff's office assigns roughly 90 deputies to this detail. It's a number unique and specific to walk only nights. We have deputies out tonight that are on foot, we have deputies in vehicles, we have deputies on horseback, deputies on motorcycles, deputies on bicycles. Using every tactic to keep an eye on visitors. The presence of us being so high up allows us to get over the crowd and be able to see what's going on. Kenny Fenwick's been coming for years and says the presence does not go unnoticed. Very safe. I mean, they're everywhere. There are heroes. And as the community hits the streets, <laughs> so do patrols. It's a lot about being seen and the horses draw a lot of attention, so the attention oftentimes will prevent criminal activity. Deputies say children getting lost and people smoking pot or drinking are the biggest issues. Eight missing kids were reunited with their parents during the first walk only night. And while there were no arrests, deputies needed to kick out three people. Thank you very much for everything you do, keeping us safe as they can. You know, I know there's crazies out there, but they do remarkable stuff. And the sheriff's office also says car break-ins are an issue here. Now, they know people will be leaving their cars out here for hours at a time sometimes, so just make sure you take all your valuables out of them. Reporting live from Christmas Tree Lane, A.J. Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters.